<coughs> Inshallah what we have from our online SMC family, mashaAllah everybody's emailing and asking questions, posting, posting articles, posting YouTubes, getting apps that can cut down the YouTubes into smor- shorter reels and alhamdulillah that keep bombarding shaitan with uh, the word of uh, Allah the words of light, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that uh, as much darkness that wants to enter this earth it takes but one light to keep the flame glowing and growing. So as long as Allah gives us a means and ability and a breath inshaAllah people join in with us in sharing videos, sharing articles, sharing the knowledges, sharing people to support and to give charity. This is a great khidmat, open up uh, Muhammadan way uh, pages on Instagram. If you go on to TikTok there's there are hundreds of Muhammadan way TikTok accounts, open up uh, Instagram accounts, Facebook accounts, Muhammadan way, Muhammadan way, Muhammadan way and keep your khuluq and character exactly how we're teaching based on mercy and compassion, never to get political. If you step outside this ring of protection, the ring of fire will grab you. So do not step outside of these guidelines so that everything is based on rahmah and mercy and no politics, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi we do what we can to serve but our service cannot compare to so many of your students who are so much better than us. This leaves us feeling crushed. Are you meant to feel this way to reduce our pride and arrogance that plague us? InshaAllah why not? The competition in religion is good, competition in dunya is bad. <clears throat> means that why? So that everybody when they keep the fellowship of realities and, and the fellowships of tariqahs you compete in everything. That look to the one whom has the best manners in the zawiyah and compete with those manners. Don't look to the one who's most arrogant and copy that person and then walk around like you're arrogant and, and you're something tough and strong. But you compete with being hum- Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Humble, you compete with being pious. Look to the one whom has lots of khidmat and say, I, why I can't do that? So why, why is the reason that somebody can't do khidmat? We have guys spending you know hours at night just going to YouTube channels and like, 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 like all of the comments. People whom are actually writing back comments, people whom are answering the emails. So everybody has time when you have a discipline on your schedule of, of how you spend your day. You then discipline how you're also going to live a life of service and what type of service you can perform. So this is a matter of priority. If you want these blessings and you want these protections, you want these realities, you prioritize them. If you don't want them, you want something from dunya is more important then you go after that. But in the end don't complain that what you wanted didn't open. That's why we said Allah is the great motivator right now, everybody's looking at a whole bunch of difficulties and there's nothing like difficulties to motivate people to do more. That their home protected, their families protected, nazar of Prophet upon all their loved ones, 
that wherever they are they have to feel that love and that protection to protect them. There is no one location that people can run to. People start emailing, should we go here, should we go there? You go exactly where you are and Allah protect you based on good deeds. You're not running on into finding one miraculous tree that's going to shelter you, there is nowhere safe. What will befall this earth there is nowhere safe. Only safety is in our deeds and our actions and our love so that you become the people of what? Three places Prophet described, Ahlul Mecca, Ahlul Medina wa Ahlul Shahm Sharif. But actually they're not in those locations. But your heart has to be from the people of Mecca. You have to have a clean heart. Your heart has to be clean like the Kaaba. And you have to be from the people of Madani and Medina in which your soul has a love for Prophet more than you love yourself. So then you are then Mecca walking, you are Medina walking and Shah Sharif has to do with the significance of awliyaullah, the Sultan and Fishams. Why? Because this is the land of awliya and has to do with the reality of awliyaullah. So then you have to live your life around awliya, that you serve one and that you follow that one, you learn from that one and your life is to eat and drink with that one. Means that in every majlis and every association you're with the people of Shah Sharif because they are with the people of Shah Sharif. If you live a life like that then what Prophet described the Dajjal cannot enter into these three locations. So means then you become protected like Mecca because your heart is like a Kaaba. You become protected like Medina because you walk with the love of Prophet upon your soul. And you become Shah Sharif that only Allah you're in their majlis, you're in their anjumana atishagol. Right? The beautific fly, fiery flower of that reality. In that anjuman and in that gathering of that reality. That's why the service, that's why the adherence to a shaykh and not bouncing around from different shaykh, different shaykh because then no shaykh knows who you are, no shaykh even understands who you're serving. Some people send emails with the CC to 10 different shaykhs, don't even look at those emails. Because you cc'd everybody, let the other one handle it if that's what you want. InshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah by your blessings Sayyidi, doing my practices, daily awrad, muraqabah, breath meditation daily. A hundred times, oh. alhamdulillah wa shukrullah, but I ask for you to pray that I can get rid of myself of my bad characteristics. I am lazy and jealous and I want to develop more juzba and himma to serve your organization, but I feel like the cause of my anxiety is not being grateful for what I have and looking at people who have more than me. It's terrible. I pray that I can help remove this bad characteristic in particular. InshaAllah. <clears throat> Make salawats, ask Prophet exactly what you ask and inshaAllah they put more into your heart not to worry about other people. Uh, everybody whoever has more now is going down, doesn't matter anyways, everything is collapsing. What you need more of and what we all need more of is love for Prophet love for that presence and only that love can save us and draw us near to that reality. And everything else is is a, is a distraction, inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Shaykh Wa alaykum as salaam I'm not a Sufi nor a Muslim but I go to the channel to work on my character and manners. We are taking notes, listening to the awrad, drinking the water that has been exposed to the mawlid, keeping the head covered more often listening to Ayatul Kursi, doing sujood, washing, attending the online mawlids and just overall hearing the words from the talks has made a big positive difference in my life. 
Am I allowed to have a Taweez? If not in a position to order, is it okay to print a small one from online and maybe put it in a vial cylinder necklace or put it in my notebook for taking notes where it will not possibly agitate others? It's a very detailed. Yes, you can have the Taweez and uh, yes, you can take it, print it, buy one, whatever you want. Alhamdulillah that you're doing all the practices, I don't understand what you mean by you're not a Muslim. Muslim means one whom is trying to submit to God. So by virtue of trying to submit, you, you may not be using the Arabic word but the English word is somebody who submits their will to the will of God. So anyone trying to do that is somebody whom is submitter. So this is not about uh, Arabic phonics and Arabic words and we only can say Arabic words and, and achieve something. But everybody within their own language or no language at all, are we taking on a daily basis, am I trying to submit myself to the will of God? Am I preparing my heart for the kingdom of God's arrival? That's what this whole thing is, everybody has the Lord's Prayer and they say, the kingdom of God, thy kingdom come and thy will will be done. And we just described for you the kingdom of Allah is called Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in the name of that kingdom, in the name of God most compassionate, most merciful. How could anyone not want to be from a compassionate and merciful Creator? It shows compassion to whom? To who you love? Well that, that's a given but to show compassion to whom you don't like. For whatever reason you don't like them, to show compassion to the face of something that is not of interest to you is the real compassion of Allah Means that which is angers the heavens but Allah continuously talks with might and forgiveness. That Allah can crush us in an instant but I forgive you. Not that I don't have the ability to harm you but the ability that I can crush you like an ant but I forgive you. And Allah shows for our demeanor that show compassion to those whom are not pleasing to you. Show compassion to things that are difficult to you. Only showing compassion to whom you love is very easy because that's not so compassionate that already comes with the attribute of love. So Allah saying, in the name of Allah most compassionate and most merciful must have an immense reality. Why? Because now we look at the last chapter of this earth and everybody's rotten. So was that verse for the beginning of creation or Allah prepared that for the last of creation? who do all these horrific things and Allah still says to His creation, in the name of God most compassionate and most merciful. At any time you do wrong, Allah reminding, ask for forgiveness and come back to my compassion and my mercy. Ask for forgiveness, come back to my compassion and my mercy. So Allah opens the door so wide and so immense that it is shoes that nobody can follow in because everybody's nafs and bad energy, bad desires, they block, and block everyone from mercy and compassion. So this is an immense, immense reality for the last days that we see all of this horrific nature of people and Allah gave to us a key, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, that whatever befalls this earth Remember I am Allah most compassionate and most merciful and use compassion upon everyone so that you can have the mercy of the heavens inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa How can we convince our children about the deceit of Dajjal and how to make our children open their heart? I think we've talked about raising children based on love, based on good manners, good, <coughs> good character. We teach our children based on truth. 
Some people who come in and say, oh shit, you know, it's okay if we, we put this tree, it's okay if we, 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 we put these rabbits with, with plastic eggs. And said, you can do whatever you want and say, it's okay to whatever you want. But in reality, raise your family on truth. And as a result, if they're fed the truth, that's all they expect all their life. And as they become older and the brain has a capacity, you can begin to show them, that's not truthful. Bunnies don't lay eggs, so why are you pretending to do these things? Why do they pretend to do these things? It's not truthful. So anytime you feed lies on one day hoping the person will be true, it's like you fed it sewage and then you're wondering why your tree is lopsided. So our life is about teaching them and instilling them the truth. God is compassionate and merciful. Allah wants you know you to be like this, act like this, pray like this, have energy like this, be positive like this and don't follow deceit. You know don't go out and, and put evilness upon yourself and ask for, for tokens from people. We've had events where a, a witch type person and it's a new age event we did 20 years ago where we were doing the whirling and the sama and everybody has a belief that they put incantation into food. So what we call tabarak that when we have events we make du'as upon the dates, upon food, everything right? Even in our zikr the majlis is making du'a for all the food downstairs. So that everyone who comes and eats from it goes blessed. So this is a common, this is, this is the way and, and the system. But everybody does that. So witches and demonic and evil people put incantation in everything. In a music that they make they put an incantation praying that it makes people to be deceived and misguided. They put incantations into foods that they're going to give to people to be deceived and misguided, sickened and poisoned. So then why dress up in a ridiculous costume that angers Allah and goes out and take the deception of shaitan and put it into the mouth of your children. So you don't need anybody to give fatwas but understand this is how the game is played, the good side. That's uh, mushkil gusha. We all pray on Allah's ni'mat to give a shifa and healing to people. But the demons they're not <laughs> hoping to heal anyone, they want incantations to sicken and, and possess and poison people. So we had an event and these witches had this type of thing and they came to one of our people, hey would you like a jelly bean? The person ate the jelly bean and passed out because of the incantation inside of it. So why would you take a jelly bean from these witch people? Their booth is witches. So I was thought it was polite, what do you think is polite? You're just not playing here, this is real. So everybody's putting something into something. Now you want to take from the satanic side, then that's your choice. But in, in our lives teach your children these realities like we're teaching. That you know maybe shaitan's putting incantation these things, I don't think this is a good time to go out and to do that. And then we don't have to celebrate this, we celebrate Ramadan, pay your children to fast. Say, Shay, why would I pay my children to fast? Why Allah promises you paradise, He's paying you, He's giving you paradise. You're fasting only because of paradise until you become mature and then you say, no I'm fasting for love of Allah but at the same time your tarbiyah and training until the children understand what that love is, then motivate them. So and then you educate them. As they become older say, I don't think they went to the moon, uh, that kind of funky stuff, I don't think. Look we can't even get the television to work when it's raining. You think they went 400,000 miles in, in the, and they have an electronic device that works correctly, why didn't they share that with the satellite company so we could watch television when it's raining? So you educate your family and tell them watch the, our YouTube channel, we'll educate them inshaAllah.
Assalamualaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah. How can we prevent ourselves from having inappropriate thoughts or misguidance while in the bathroom? <laughs> Keep your hat on. And at, at least recognize that is coming from shaitan. Keep your hat on, go into the facility, keep your taweez on your, your being and as soon as the sobat begins understand that's from shaitan and pay no attention to it and get out. The one whom is heedless doesn't think like that. They go into the facility and immediately they feel that they were inspired, they got a khutbah, they came out with all sorts of ideas, that's the danger. Because then they go back inside, they get another khutbah, then they get another khutbah. Before you know it, the imam is in there and they keep going in there to get uh, their guidance. And he sits in the corner and says, I'm abad, oh my servant, now let, listen to this. So that's important is to be conscious of that fact that this inspiration is coming from here, this is really bad. Then go onto your prayer carpet and be inspired, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah uh, Sayyidi, what's the meaning behind the color orange and is it permissible to wear this color? The saffron and the orange Prophet described not to. <coughs> and this was a, a disliked color and these were <laughs> Those who wear that of these monks and Buddhists and all of these, for the longest time people were thinking, oh they're very peaceful people. And, and then Allah showed Rahina, Myanmar and the uprising in Myanmar and I think we gave a talk that if you want to know what people are like. Pay attention to how they bury their dead because that's the last chapter exactly on this subject for tonight. When you wash and quickly put your dead to rest because it's the most important departure of their lives. They're going quickly now into Divine the Presence, you wash and fragrance and get them ready right away. They're going to meet their Lord because this is your belief. So your last chapter shows your entire belief. Then you come across a people who wear this saffron, they take their people who passed away and they slice them like a fillet and they slice them into pieces and they put them out for animals to eat. Anybody who can do that to whom they love, you have to run from them because one day you may be near their slicing. So <laughs> they show you <laughs> already their character. That, that's a very harmful, harmful character especially when we know that the dead are very much alive, they feel everything. Even Prophet described the temperature in which you wash the dead, be careful. The one who washes the dead is the most dangerous job to have because if he should harm those people, the last person's name they remember on earth is that guy washing them. From all the people who harm them in life, if you abuse them in the washing and the water's too cold and you're too rough with your, your, your mannerisms, that's the name that they remember before they go to Allah's presence. And many difficulties befall these type of people. It's not advisable to do that service for too long, short time but with good manners and good akhlaq that they should have understood and been trained in that. So means these are all the realities of passing and the realities of akhirah inshaAllah. Allah dress us and bless us and keep us in the love of Divinely Presence, love of Sayyidina Muhammad SubhanAllah Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yasifoon Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Bi Siri Surat Al Fatiha Ve şefaat yarısı
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.